Okay, dear students, uh, <clears throat> let us see what is there in this question. A tennis ball is dropped from top of a tall building. Air resistance is not negligible. This is a very, very crucial point, point to be noted. Air resistance is not negligible. Which graph shows the variation of time t of the displacement s of the ball? Fine. So there is a tall building, they say, and a ball is dropped from this building. So obviously, it will be acted upon by weight, and the ball initially will start falling with the the acceleration due to gravity that is 9.8 meter per second square. So it will be increasing its velocity. Initially, it is zero because it is dropped. Definitely, the velocity will start increasing. But as the velocity increases, the drag force, which is not neglected here, that will also increase. Now, it's not given here in the question, but I can tell you that the viscous force that is applied on these kind of balls and bodies others it is 6 pi eta r v we need not to go into details here presently so you can just take it like a constant multiply by the velocity of the body so this is the viscous force or you can call it a drag force air drag so as the velocity increases the force increases, the viscous force increases, the drag force increases. Now, initially there is no drag force because velocity is zero. So there is only one force that is mg minus I can say fv. So this will be net force. So gradually, it can be written as kb. Now gradually when the velocity increases, there will be come a time when mg will be equal to kv so f net will become zero there will be a time when f net will become zero now at this time the acceleration the net acceleration of the body which the body is experiencing will become zero it means the velocity will become constant at that point and it will stop increasing the value so before that time the velocity will be increasing from zero to a certain value whatever be the acceleration it will not be equal to 9.8 initially it will be equal to 9.8 gradually it will start reducing even acceleration will start reducing and obviously after some time the velocities will become constant and the displacement time graph will become a straight line so according to that theory i can say that up to some time up to some moment the acceleration will take place whatever it is but acceleration will take place and if the acceleration is not zero the displacement time graph is always a parabola so initially there will be a positive parabola upward so this is the parabola up to this point and after that it will be a straight line because now the acceleration is equal to zero and velocity is constant so displacement time graph will be a straight line Generally, when we do these kind of questions, the air drag, the air resistance is generally neglected. But for IB examinations, I have seen in other examinations, it's generally neglected. But in IB examinations, it is not neglected. So we have to be very careful when we are handling these kind of questions. By the way, this velocity at which the drag force becomes zero, it, this velocity is known as VT, terminal velocity. So for all the curious students, those who want to know more about the terminal velocity and Stokes law, they can, now this is known as Stokes law, they can search these terms on Google. Or they can just tell me in the comment section, I will become more elaborative about that. With this, all the best. Bye. So our answer is A, by the way. I'm sorry, the answer is A. And let us verify from the mark team. And yes, the answer is absolutely A. So with this, all the best. Bye.